guys. Welcome back to my little home here. Uh, I know it's been a couple of weeks since I recorded, but I had some serious problems with my recording the last time. Um, yeah, you know, I didn't want to go into it. I just had <laughs> a lot of problems, and let's just say I wasn't able to get out a video. But I have been doing a lot in the meantime. <clears throat> I have been working on things, getting ready to start set up a little villager trading over there. So, I've spent, spent a lot of time in the nether, um, I did find some cool stuff there though, <clears throat> found a couple of fortresses, and I uh, was able to come back with a couple of extra gold, a couple of diamond, and uh, two extra iron horse armors, so that's a good thing, huh? Right, Red? <clears throat> Excuse me. So. I uh, had uh, I, I got a lot of quartz running around down there in the Nether. I was able to uh, get a little bit more of that, more glowstone. <coughs> wow, I'm sorry about my voice this morning. Not sure what's going on there. But what I'm getting ready to do is <coughs> I'm going to go over here. See, yeah, there may be something bad out here. I don't think so, though. I just slept the night away. Um, not the only one on the server, but apparently I'm the only one in this world right now. So it looks like Black and Black Paw is probably in. Uh, shut up! In the nether. Or not the nether, the creative world, most likely. And you're going to see over here, I've got some track laid out here, and it goes up into the was the jail but this is going to be a villager trading post now um, we're gonna bring each of the five villagers in here and trap them back here just leave them in their mine carts drop them right there and cut the track out from underneath them because villagers believe it or not one of the most overpowered things in the game. They are OP, and I'm not kidding. Uh, if you have the right materials to trade with them, there's nothing you can't get. Uh, any one of the items or in, like weapons, tools, armor, that sort of thing, you, you can get that from from villagers. Um, seriously, though. I'm going to need to try if I can figure out how. I've never done it before. But I need to set up a, a uh, an iron golem farm or something to keep the to get iron because I'm going to need iron to trade. I mean, I've got lots of iron right now, but that will run out pretty quickly. And I've got lots of diamonds to get started. But uh, what you have to do is find the best villagers you can of uh, each uh, each type put them in here and uh, unlock all of their trades and one, once once all of their trades are unlocked you're just you're pretty much set you don't have to do anything else they uh, yeah they're seriously OP I'm not I'm not even exaggerating uh, <clears throat> if you're familiar with Doc M77 over at the uh, turn my sounds down over at the Minecraft server and I know I talk about those guys a lot but this is where I learned my stuff uh, uh, volume was pretty good we'll watch some of Doc's videos you'll see what I'm talking about uh, he's got they are breeding like flies in here. <clears throat> I'm going to check that. <laughs> my frame rate's dropping through the floor. Seven. Uh, let me. I'm going to turn my sound down even more. Turn it down to about now. Oh, that's close enough. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go down here. I really need to check on these guys anyway. Uh, I killed all the ones outside because I was afraid they were messing with frame rates. Also, before I do that, I have to, I've been working here quite a bit. I need to go check and see if I have any 
a lot of chickens over there. I don't think so. That's not bad. No, there are only about seven in there. Okay. And I heard a zombie. He was either going down into my trap, and there's no way he's in there. Uh. Why that only opens halfway sometimes? But he, there, there's glowstone in there. He won't be there now. <coughs> well, I don't know where that zombie's at, but he's around somewhere. So let's go check on these villagers. Um. Oh yeah, I can show you guys something else while I'm here. But I need to get something out of here. No. Maybe out of here. There. One fish. <clears throat> That's all I need. Let us go down here. And get an axe. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, you can see all this stuff I'm, I've torn out of the old jail there, and I'm getting ready to actually build the the little holding cells I'm going to put the villagers in. That's why I chose the jail. It's big enough, and <laughs> I thought I like the idea of putting them in cells. Okay, you haven't seen this yet, I don't think. Is it going to work? No. All right, let's put it down here. I know this will work. Yep, there we go. This is my aquarium. Uh, there he goes. See the fish go by? Here he comes. <clears throat> it's another Minecraft thing from somebody over there. Like I said, that's where I learn the things that I learn. However silly they be. That's <laughs> but let's see, let's chunk that in there. All right, let's go check on these villagers. Seriously, guy? All right, why are you guys down here? That's what I want to know. They'll eventually make their way back up here. Oh, Lord, look at my frame rates drop. Eight. <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping them all safe in here for now. Yeah, there's a lot of loving going on up here. Uh, so I killed all the ones that were living outside. And, yeah, they decided that this was a good place to raise their babies now. So, yeah, okay. They're doing well. Let's get out of here. Uh, guys. No. Alright, you guys stay in there. No! Stay in there! Dang. They're gonna get down here and kill themselves. They'll eventually get out. If they come this far, they'll get out and come into my house. I went too far. So that's what I've been up to, uh, just randomly building things, and, uh, I thought maybe I would go over to the skeleton farm today, and, oh, I gotta put this stuff away, too, <clears throat> go over to the skeleton farm and get that last bit of level 29 there so I can get level 30, and, uh, enchant a book before I get off. Short video this week, I'm not gonna be doing a lot. So, let's put this away. Uh, another golden helmet. Uh, golden leggings. Golden leggings. You know what? I'm going to repair those with each other. Protection one. Thorns. And eh, might as well fix those while I'm at it. These are 
not enchanted, so I can just do them like this. Save my levels. Okay, now. <clears throat> I learned something, too, that I didn't know. You can take, like, a whole stack of things like this, like a stack of steak or a stack of cobble or whatever, and you know how you can just throw one or two of them like that? I didn't realize you could throw the entire stack. You can, though, if you hold down control and press your throw button in uh, Q. I've got mine set to P, but yeah, it'll throw the whole stack. I didn't. I never knew that. That's pretty awesome. Uh, saw somebody do that and was wondering, how in the world, how do they do that? Oh, well, that's how. Control and your toss button. Okay, I'm going to use my little macro key here. Put this where, I, where it belongs. <clears throat> macro key to go to the skeleton farm. And wait for the lag, and that should flip. There we go, and now we'll wait for skeletons. I don't really need a whole lot of them. Uh, let me disguise myself as a skeleton. Because I can go up here and check and see how this is working if I'm disguised. I can, uh, any mob, I can disguise myself as any mob, that, any hostile, mo hostile mob, and they won't attack me. They just think I'm another mob. <clears throat> Come on, guys. Can't reach it to flip it closed. Hmm, maybe I should fix that. Oh, well. But yeah, there they are. Hey, guys, what's up? Just another skeleton. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna go down there into the mob trap with you. Wow. Fail. But, now, you're gonna hear me when I fall down here. I'll make... Oh, oh I've got feather fall boots on. <laughs> That's why. Uh, but yeah, I'm stuck in here with all these skeletons now. Oh well, let's get back out there. Okay. What have I got? Uh, 18. 18. That's probably enough, but we're going to just give it a little bit longer. Ah, eh, what the heck. That's enough. Is that it? Ah, right, burn, guys. Quick two tick pulse, or two one tick pulses there. Pop some lava out back into that dispenser back there. Oh. Now we put these in here. Now you're going to see what I'm going to do is. Oh, wait, let me check in here. Alright, this is just from one killing session. Because a lot of people don't know if you throw a potion. And, it, and you kill mobs, and if you switch to your like, looting sword before they are they die, you get the effects of the looting sword without actually having to use up the durability on your sword. So you can get you can gather lots of stuff really quickly that way. All right, let's see here. And I just get enough XP to get to 30. Yes, I am. All right. That's good. Put this away. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh, awesome. Now then, last thing I'm going to do before I uh, get off from, with you guys is I'm going to. Uh oh, it's dark out there. Sleep. Like it matters, but because. Well, I do have to work it in a bit go out there and get to work on the villagers so let's go enchant a book if I can stop running into the walls <clears throat> here we go down 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 into the basement into 
another basement and another basement and another basement. Uh, oh, now the last time I checked here, I had 11 uh, gunpowder and I haven't gotten any more. Okay, well, I don't really expect that to produce much anyway. Okay, so let's get a book. not too bad because I get a lot of those <clears throat> and it doesn't cost very much to combine them. See, I've got sharpness four here, sharpness five, sharpness three. Yeah, they, they it doesn't cost much to combine them. So uh, I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna stop recording. Fin finish this. Finish this. And guys next time hopefully maybe possibly i can record another episode sooner um tuesday i may be able to get one out because my wife and kids are going to a homeschool co-op and i'm going to stay home and chill before i have to go to work i don't have to be at work till seven o'clock that day 7 p.m so maybe i'll be able to get an episode recorded and possibly edited up by that the time i have to leave so uh, so yeah we'll see you guys later and uh have a good day. Bye. <laughs>